This is Be Quiet Silent Loop 2 360. It's big, it got three silent wing, three high speed PVM fans and a bit of RGB. So the AIO we'll be looking at today is Be Quiet Silent Loop 2. In total there are four different sizes available, 120, 240, 280 and 360, last of which is the model for this video. The fans used on here are Be Quiet's in-house made Silent Wing 3 120 PVM high speed. We already reviewed these some time ago, so check out the video if you haven't already. But to sum them up, these are 2200 RPM fans pushing 73.33 CFM at 3.37 mm of H2O while yelling at 28.60 B. The conclusion of that video was pretty positive. They were performing quite well, but uh, they were not as silent as I have initially hoped for. But we will see that in the benchmark. Section. Back to the AIO, we are looking at a 27mm thick aluminum radiator with 400mm long tubes attached to it that are adjustable at the water block. Speaking of which, this is one thick water block with a black casing and a brushed aluminum style block on top featuring a discreet usage of their logo. This is pretty much exactly the type of water block cover that you could expect from somebody like Be Quiet. But to make it better, underglow. By putting a bunch of LEDs underneath that aluminum style block, we got some nice looking underglow coming out from underneath. The whole thing can be controlled using your Motherboss 3 pin ARGB header, but in case you ain't got one, Be Quiet got you covered with a SATA powered ARGB controller. Underneath the whole block we will find a pretty giant copper nickel plated base big enough to cover pretty much every CPU you put on there. While we are on the subject, let's cover compatibility. On Team Intel we are looking at every LGA 1150, 1200, 2011-3. On Team Red we have AM4, both AM3s and STRX4 for the really big boy. For the people looking to use this on an LGA1700, I have no doubt that in the near future the mounting kit will be included in the box, but for those who already have it, I was told by a viewer of another Be Quiet review that you can request an LGA1700 mounting kit by contacting them via email. Now on a subject that surprised me very positively, the installation procedure. If you've watched any of my other Be Quiet air cooler reviews, you know that there is a particular piece of metal that I have a high abusive relationship with. On the silent loop however, they kept all of the good parts of the installation hardware and straight up dumped that damn bracket, something that it definitely deserved. But let's start at the beginning. On Team Red we first need to remove the pre-installed black retention brackets and from there we can place the AMD spacers on the leftover knobs and position the AMD bracket in an inwards pointing way on top and screw everything down. Over on Team Intel LGA we need to use the provided Intel backplate and shove the Intel screws through the hole according to your sock. The inner one for LGA 1150s and 1200s and the outer ones for 1366 and then keep the screw in place using the screw holder thing. After positioning the back we can screw it down using the Intel spacers, put the Intel brackets on top with the ends pointing towards the CPU and screw them down. Now comes the moment at which I usually get an aneurysm, but not this time. This time we can simply position the water block on top of the CPU, don't forget the thermal paste, and screw it down using the already pre-attached and not out falling screws. Amazingly easy compared to a dark rock. To finish it off, we just need to install the fans, connect them to a PVM header, and as a last step, connect the three pin header from a pump sitting underneath that aluminum block and spinning at up to 2800 RPM. Okay, before we proceed, there is something quite special included in the box. Ignoring the usual suspect like mounting gear, fans, a 3 to 1 PVM splitter for the fans, a manual, an RGB controller and some thermal paste. There is something quite unique. This bottle of definitely not drinking water. Now this is kind of unusual because AOs usually come pre-filled. But don't get me wrong, a silent loop 2 is definitely pre-filled to the very top. But Be Quiet tries to address an issue where the water in a loop would slowly start to disappear through something a bit like sweating through the tube. That being said, don't panic. Even though this is definitely a thing, it takes an extremely long time until enough water disappears that you can't even notice it. Like your PC will probably be garbage before that happened. But Be Quiet still added a fill pot in the bottom of the red which allows you to refill your loop with 
presumably the liquid they include in the bulk. Now, the fill pot is not solely reserved for the theoretical solution of a theoretical problem. This can also serve if you one, one day decide that it's time to change your liquid. And that's something that could be done every two years. But it is not really necessary as these AO companies tend to put so much anti-everything in there that you will start to decay before the liquid does. But it's still, it's an option and it's nice to have. Okay, I think we have now every feature covered so it's time for the tree benchmark using our usual benchmarks on a Ryzen 3900X we let the silent loop to 360 and its fan spin at 100% fan speed. While doing so, it managed to keep the 3900X at 45 degrees C, which is the exact same level as an Arctic Liquid Freezer 360. Really freaking amazing. But more impressive is that the water block pump red combo works so well that the fans really don't need to spin at that speed. Lowering the fan speed in 10% decrements showed that the fans will keep those 45 degrees up until even 80% fan speed. But a bit more surprising was the revelation that as soon as we turn down the fan speed, the Silent Loop 360 takes the lead and stays at that position as the coolest cooler until the very end. But what about noise? Normalizing our results by noise reveals a slightly different picture. Here we saw that although the Silent Loop 360 is as cool as a Freezer 360, it is not even close to its noise. Starting off just as loud as a Glacier 1360 MP, it quickly jumps down in noise, but it just never quite catches up with a Freezer 360, even with the silent wings at the slowest fan speed. So performance as a whole, very, very good, but with a catch. As our noise normalized test showed, you can basically slow down these fans to about 50% fan speed, and you will still get top of the line cooling performance, outperforming a lot of coolers out there. And that headroom of 30% that doesn't do anything for your CPU temperature is basically just unnecessary noise that could have been avoided. So the Silent Loop 360 performs like a beast, but you need to adjust that fan speed accordingly. No need to let these fans roar across all of your street. That being said, I also did a little experiment. Be Quiet also sent me over their Lightwing fans, and as the dedicated review showed, these are better than Silent Wings, and Be Quiet themselves mentioned them as being good radiator fans. So I slapped them on there and tried them out. Unsurprisingly, the red pump combo was still at maximum performance that it was able to provide, but the fan, being a heck of a lot quieter than the original Silent Wings, were able to keep the 3900X at the same 45 degrees C while yelling a whopping 4 dB less than the original thing. This pattern was repeated pretty much all across the board, with the Light Wings ending up extremely close to a Liquid Freezer 360. Mind you, never outperforming it in noise to performance, but really damn near. And this leads me to what I liked and what could have been better category. The quality perfect, nothing to neck there, everything is sturdy and everything is well made, compatibility is as good as it gets, the design is clean and minimalistic, the same goes for the uh, IRGB implementation, but that's like a personal thing. A big plus from my side as the installation method is significantly easier than a, of a dark rock, and peak performance is as good as it gets, no other 360 AIO was able to outperform this. And noise to performance is also very much alright, as long as you remember that you do not need to let these fans go crazy. For the could have been better side, it was really hard to come up with something, cause there was nothing that really stood out as being bad. The only thing that I can come up with is basically a Silent Loop 3 featuring the Lightwing high speed. Not only does this look pretty awesome, but it also improves the noise to performance ratio greatly and therefore creates an overall way better looking cooler. So please be quiet, make this a thing. On the price side, the Silent Loop 360 goes for around 135 euros. Sure, that's a bit more expensive than a Freezer 360, but considering what other brands will cost you, this is still in the better corner. So, to buy or not to buy? In my opinion, it's a very, very good cooler, affordable, well built refillable, performs exceptionally well, and the only thing that it needs is basically somebody who dials down the PVM slider. Other than that, amazing. But okay, this was my take on the Silent Loop 360. At this point, I would like to thank Be Quiet for providing me this amazing AIO, and I sincerely hope that they decide to release a third generation featuring their Lightwing. And for you, thank you for watching, but if you want to keep watching, have a look at our Dark Rock Pro 4 after two years review. It survived me surprisingly well, considering how I treated it over time. Anyway, hope to see you in the next one, and bye bye.